Yo, um, <clears throat> I'm not a connoisseur of fine pervert games, but there was this game called Midnight Castle Succubus that I really liked. I still remember seeing it. It's like, oh, this is some hentai, and I'm looking in the background, I'm like, this is Castlevania 2. It's literally stolen the assets from Castlevania 2. And I played through that game recently, and uh, dude, that was freaking great. And so, then there was a sequel, or a, a spiritual success, or whatever the hell it is. And so, um, Castle in the Sky is pretty much a follow-up, and dude, <laughs> It's even better. It's freaking fun as hell. So good to go around and whipping the hell out of people. Um, and you got swords this time. You got uh, to climb walls. You still you still do some of your classic Metroidvania type shit, like double jump and all that jazz. But what really gets uh, a good Metroidvania is great music and then great um, control and. I love everything in this game as far as control is besides um, the wall jump. The wall jump's kind of shitty. Um, and, you know, just some cool levels and atmosphere. Um, this game is not very hard at all, uh, at least on normal. I probably should have played on hard. But um, it's fun as hell, and it's about a four or five hour game. It's just to go around and looking for secrets, get your character all par or powered up, and, you know, she's a floozy or whatever, but, you know, everybody's got their own issues. And, um,. Just going through and just the classic feel of just whipping the shit out of people. <laughs> it, it, it has it. It has it really good. And so, um, intentionally 8-bit graphics. Fun, fun, fun. It's one of those games that, you know, you play through it really quickly, but it, you have such a blast playing it. It's like, man, this is one of them, you know, almost perfect Vigi games. Um, and I really really re recommend it it's much better than um midnight castle succubus because that game had a lot of where the fuck do i go next um there's bits of that in this one but it's a lot better drawn out and it'll also show you when you could pick areas like right there you just say right there so you don't have to constantly walk back and forth between giant parts of the game the way the other one was and so it's like oh well this area has 25 percent done then you know even if you bought the boss and he says 25 percent done well well hell there's a bunch more level you need to go back and through and so it, it it helps you to um put you going in the right path and you know till you find your you know your double jumps and your wall climbs and all of that metroid stuff that'll allow you to progress further and further on um and as you go further you'll get better and better gear uh you can level your up your character and you can pick like to increase agility to make your attack faster or strength to make it stronger. Um, cool, cool the way that it lets you to do it and lets you customize your shit. And so you can have um, kind of a sort of a build, um, but not truly. Uh, it's it's still fun. You can use the weapon you want, whether you want to use sword or whip or then to have some like magic wand stuff. It's um, an easy, easy recommend. And of course, you could play a not safe for work version or the safe for work version, which I'm showing right here. Um, but this is an easy paw up. Kitty loves the music, and it was fun. Four or five hours of fun, and, and you're done. And then Brian was just enamored by that uh, controls the gameplay and all that good stuff. An easy recommend, Castle in the Sky.